What's going on, YouTube? This is your DraftKings Attic. I'm bringing my top picks for Monday's main DK MLB slate, guys. All right, we got a big, juicy 10-game slate today, guys. We got a lot of options, a lot of places to uh, throw our darts, okay? So, all right, let's talk about some of those uh, some of those plays and some of the areas you like to play, guys, all right? So, on the screen, you're going to see a draft dashboard, all right? It's the app that I use to... Um, I do my MLB research, guys. What I like about it is that it, has, it puts a lot of information on the screen for you. Uh, so you don't have to go and uh, do too much uh, uh, research. All right. It's pretty much put all the data that you need right in front of you. So if you check the description for a link, there will be a seven-day trial for one buck for you to check it out, guys. See if it's something that you would uh, be interested in. All right. So what I like about it is you can go to the position optimizer here. And you can go and select your slate that you want to play. All right. Two game early, two game night. Yeah, no thanks. All right. So I know I'm going to go and I sort it by the dash rank. All right. So as you see, Verland is at the top with the highest dra uh, dash rank. All right. We got J Hap next up. All right. And then we got Godly and Bundy and Serger and so forth and so forth. All right, guys. So as you can see over here on the right, I've watched a couple of players, and those are the players that, that I like. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add my boy Verland on there. All right, even though he's in a tough matchup, in my opinion. All right, guys, so once you go in there, you watch all the players that you like, you can go over here to the uh, lineup optimizer and have Draft Dashboard build a lineup for you guys. So that's pretty much how Draft Dashboard works, guys. All right, so all right, let's go on and look at the top picks, guys. So let's go ahead and get right to it, guys. This is actually my second time recording this video because for some reason, the first time, it did not record any of the audio. All right, so... Anywho, all right, so top of the list, guys, Syndergaard guy, right? He's He has one of the best matchups, guys. He's a he's a high-K pitcher, all righty, so um, we like Syndergaard. All right, wow, he, played, he pitched 10 innings right here, okay? All right, so we like Syndergaard um, versus uh, Miami, all right, guys, in a favorable matchup, all righty, where uh, Miami that, that, uh, that definitely can strike out quite a bit, so. Uh, Syndergaard's in a good spot. He sounds like he's going to be the favorite of the night, guys, when it comes to paying up. But to be honest, you got a lot of options up top. All right. You can go with Syndergaard. You can go with Godley. You know, you can go with uh, Scherzer. You know, but me personally, I don't know. His history versus Atlanta is kind of spotty. And as you can see, this last time they played, he put up 16 DraftKings points and in five innings pitch. Gave up a few hits. All right. Gave up a few earned runs, too, so. But, hey, maybe like him at home, guys. You never know. But um, I won't be going there. All right? So, that's it up top. You got Dylan Bundy, who's been playing pretty awesome this year. Put up 23 and 26 versus Houston. Put up 23. He had 8Ks versus Houston. All right, guys. So, Dylan Bundy been playing good. John Gray's in a good spot versus one of the worst batting teams in the league, San Diego. All right, last time he played against his team at San Diego, he put up 30 DraftKings points. Has seven Ks. All right. So he's in a good spot. Probably be more of a GPP play, though, because you're playing in Coors Field. All right. So be careful there. All right. And all the way at the bottom, guys, Urena's been hot versus the Mets. All right. So if you look at the BVP, all right, let's go over here to the BVP. We scroll all the way down. Where is it at? Here we go. We got cold and hot matchups, right? High pitcher matchup, Urena uh, versus uh, the New York Mets, guys. All right. So, again, just some, weird, some places you can go, guys, to try to fit in the best that you like. But on the screen of my two favorite pitchers at the moment, that could change in the morning when lineups are finalized or whatever. But uh, for right now, that's what I'm liking, guys. Uh, Barnhart is another player that I like. All right. He's in a good matchup. All right, if I remember correctly, Barnhart is batting sixth, I believe. Yes, all right, versus a right-handed uh, pitcher, Lively. And uh, if you look at Barnhart, he has a pretty good uh, uh, position versus the uh, that pitcher that he's playing, okay? So we go here to the center, and we sort it by dash rank. We got Barnhart right here, all right. So he's batting a .751 OPS versus righty, and then this pitcher is giving it up to the switch hitter. All right, a 1.025 OPS guys. So I like Barnhart guys in that spot. 
And again, for the values, 2.8K. All right, he's going to lob me uh, for these two top stud pitchers, all right? Because you get most of your points from pitching, guys, unless you just have a batter that just goes out of his mind and put up two home runs for five RBIs or something crazy like that. All right. Ahmed, I like him. Again, another value play. I believe he's batting lead off, if I remember correctly. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, he's batting six. All right, versus Holland. Again, it's a righty-lefty matchup. All right, but he has a, a good uh, Woba versus um, – Lefty, so I like Ahmad in this spot. Winker, he's a player that I've been that I've been uh, on for a few few spots now. The last game he played though in Pitt, they had a pitiful game, guys. I think they were projected to put up like five runs and they got blasted. As you can see, they didn't put up any runs, guys. All right, but if you look at the last couple of games before that, he put up thirteen and eleven, uh, two, four, and then he had a twelve game there, so. Again, this guy has the ability to put up some some good points, guys. I like Winker for the for the discount. All right, now Bryce Harper, guys, this is strictly a BVP play, guys. This dude owns the the pitcher that he's playing against, man. As you can see, three games versus ATL, he's put up 17 po- uh, points on average, two home runs. So if we go over to the batter versus pitcher and scroll all the way to the top, so by OBP on base percentage, right? You got Neil Ol- uh, Arenado at the top. But look at Bryce Harper, man. 39 at-bats, 18 hits, 11 extra base hits, 8 home runs, 19 RBIs, and only 5 Ks, guys. All right. That's the definition of owning the pitcher, guys. All right. Lots of history there. So, I like Bryce Harper, guys. But you could go to Arenado in, in Coors Field versus Richard. But I'm not going there for now. All right. So, Bryce Harper. All right, guys. So, that's all my picks for today, guys. If you like the video... Hit the thumbs up button for me, guys. All righty. If you're new to the channel, guys, and you love DraftKings and you love DFS like I do, go ahead and click that subscription uh, button there. And click the little bell, too, so that way you can get a notification whenever I post new videos, guys. And, um, hey, man, share share some of your uh, ideas in the comments, guys. Who are you guys on? It's a pretty big 10-game slate, guys. A lot of options, a lot of places we can go. Go ahead and share some of your top plays and some of your favorite plays in the comments, guys. All right, so good luck on tomorrow's slate, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video.